Hello, Sagittarius. Sagittarius placements. This is who's thinking of you, how they feel for you, what they want with you, a challenge, as well as an outcome. Keep in mind, as somebody else's perspective, someone else's point of view, it may differ from our own at times. All right, who's thinking of Sagittarius? Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. Ooh, you got a spy coming in. All right, you got someone coming in. Eye on you, okay? I'm hearing middle finger to the air. This is the Page of Swords. I almost said Cups. How they see you here is temperance. That's your major arcana, so love that for you. How they feel for you is the Queen of Swords. Wow. Okay, so you have someone here keeping their eye on you. They feel like there's something that you guys need to speak about, talk about. I do feel like this person's a little bit nosy, been snooping around here. There could be a gossip energy here. Okay, we got a gossipy vibe here. What they want. Queen of Pentacles. The challenge, Five of Pentacles. Okay. And the outcome here is the Six of Cups. Well, all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, someone will be moving forward here toward you. You're going to be hearing from somebody, Sagittarius, okay? Because you do have that being promoted in this reading, okay? I'm hearing blurred lines. Someone doesn't know if you guys are friends, if you guys are more than friends, if you guys can get along, okay? It does look like you have a lack of clarity between you and this person. This is somebody who could be checking to see what options you have, what opportunities you have, what kind of friends you have around you, what kind of lovers you have around you, like people around you. You have quite a bit with the seven of cups to the three of cups here. Okay, the star. This could be someone who is watching your presence online. You may have an online presence here. There's something that is quite attractive about you. I do feel like there's something regarding confidence that's coming in here. Something regarding showing up in a perfect way that causes some type of envy. Okay, this may be someone who feels like you have some friends around you or uh, maybe like cousins or siblings that are causing um, some sort of jealous vibe in your life during this time. So let's see, why is this person coming in with that nosy, nosy page of swords? Let's see what this is about. Why? This person has been keeping eyes on you for quite some time. You have cherry on the bottom. Yep, I see you pretty much. This could be a Taurus, a Leo, maybe some Cancer vibes here. Could be an air sign. Then not the be, but that's what we got. So, yeah, someone has been watching you. They've been gaining some information about you. This is someone who's digging up dirt, trying to learn all they can. Someone wants to know more, and they've been checking up for quite some time and like making notes. Okay, they're taking notes about you and this is someone who does want to come in with some information or some uh, conversation this is someone who's already formed an opinion and they're ready to talk about it now i don't know why they need to form an opinion in the first place but that's just what they've been doing this is somebody who feels a little bit like they want to know more about you like they want to know the truth about you which is probably why they're snooping okay that, yeah that makes sense so let's see about this temperance how they see you you're showing up in your vibe here which is a good sign so this person sees you as temperance sagittarius energy let's see what's up okay six of pentacles popping noted with the eight of wands Six of Wands, also Six of Pentacles, and another Sagittarian vibe. Okay, with the wheel. Um, someone feels you're perfect, okay? They feel like you're perfect 
right now, like you're perfect the way that you are. This is somebody who feels like you have quite a bit of people around you, that people give you compliments, they give you attention. Like you have this gregarious energy around you. Like, let's say like you don't even have to say anything. It's just that you attract people, you attract attention. And this is somebody who feels like you like feed off of it. Like you're being fed by so many people at once. Like everybody um, admires you. People want to give you maybe gifts or compliments or tokens of appreciation here. Like there's something about you that's very larger than life, like very lucky. Okay. Um, like very fortunate in like a, a social arena here. Okay. Some of you guys, this is, you walk into a place and a lot of people know who you are kind of energy. Okay. <laughs> They feel like you have a lot of people who kind of schmooze, okay? They kiss your behind a little bit. You got people wanting to know more about you, being in your business, everything. They feel like you're going through a good change here where you're achieving some amount of success or you have some type of lucky break. Some of you guys, this is like a level of fame in your community or what have you. There's something about you that's shining brighter right now. So let's see how they feel. And the two of pentacles on the bottom. Yeah. They're afraid. Someone is intimidated by you a little bit here. I don't know if you have history with this person, but it does feel this way. This feels like you have history with someone and like they kind of feel like you are quick to put them in their place or like you're quick to say what you want to say. Like you just kind of impulsively say stuff to them that it's it's probably truthful because it makes them fearful okay they're afraid to talk to you to communicate with you to like tell truths with you or be honest with you about things because they feel like you kind of like bite their head off here okay again this is someone who admires you so there's something about you that's intimidating um and it does look like it's because you kind of say what you want to say in the moment but it looks truthful so they feel like if they were to talk to you, it's just going to be more of the same. Um, I'm, I'm getting vibes that this is like an ex. It doesn't have to be, but that's definitely what this is feeling like. Okay. Which is, I mean, it would make sense too with the fear to speak up or talk to you or come toward you here. They also feel like you and them, maybe you guys are on and off or hot and cold with this person. Like sometimes you're really nice and you're very like friendly and kind of um, lively, entertaining. And then the next minute you're just kind of cold, you're icy, you shut them out or you shut them down or you make them shut up somehow. It's kind of like that. All right. So let's see how they feel with the, I mean, what they want with this queen of pentacles. Another queen of pentacles. All right. So here's a five of wands. Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. This is somebody who wants you to see their efforts here. Like someone wants you to know that they have been trying and they've been putting efforts here. Or they will be. Because it looks like you guys are coming off of a break or this person has. They've been waiting for an opportunity to take place between you and them where they can actually show what they have. Like show what they're worth or show what they got. To kind of establish themselves with you. To have this Ace of Pentacles with you. And here's the Six of Cups here. Yeah. Um, maybe you're dealing with an Earth sign here, Sagittarius. Okay. But this is very much so referring to the Six of Cups energy. This person wants a new beginning with you, okay? It's been quite some time that they've been feeling this way. They think about it quite a bit. It's on their mind pretty heavily here. And they want to be able to come in with like, not just a standard energy. This is someone who wants to come in with like, wow, this is a meaningful energy. Like I'm really showing Sagittarius how I want to show up to them. I feel like this person's been doing a lot of like work on themselves or they've been doing a lot of thinking about how to come in like perfectly or how to make something 
perfect with you. They're very much so thinking about this. One more on this. One more, please. Okay, yeah. See, because there's some amount of like insecurity or like an emotional thing that they're holding on to here. The Five of Cups, they miss you. I feel like they're afraid to fail. Like they want to come in. They're overthinking quite a bit too. They miss you. They're sad. Or they're just afraid that they're going to mess up and then miss you. Okay. So let's see what the challenge is with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, that makes me feel like this is someone you're not speaking to. Let me see here. This is an online spy for real. I'm getting it heavy. So five of swords, ace of, yeah, again, so star and the devil. Hey, well, hello there. Is this focused, I hope. All right. Why? Someone's like really intense about you, okay? They find it to be really challenging that you guys, it's like difficult to somehow penetrate. Yeah, okay, that sounds really interesting, doesn't it? To penetrate like the walls between you and them so that you guys can actually get on a new level, a new, a new page here, all right? This is someone who finds it challenging to get close to you. They find it challenging to be able to communicate with you. This could be someone who's like messaging you and somehow you're not seeing it or you ha they have. Like they message you, you don't see it. Or it's like being sent to spam or like filtered somehow. That's how they feel. Like they feel like even if they are coming towards you, it's not coming through. Okay. Yeah, look at that. They want to be noticed. They want you to see them or to get their messages. What's this here? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. They want to be able to meet up with you in person. If this is somebody online trying to like communicate with you, they feel like it's not doing the situation justice. It's like difficult. It's like, why don't you see me? Why don't you hear me? Why don't you respond to me? They're very much um, almost like they want this so bad. They want this quite a bit with you. It's like a real interesting kind of. Yeah. All right. Let's see about this Six of Cups. This person's next moves. Magician. Yep, there it is. Okay. Someone can't stop thinking about you and they're tired of it. Like, it's like, I don't have what I want with Sagittarius. Like, you know, the ways that things have been going, it kind of sucks. I'm left in like, a, like impoverished. I don't have enough communication, enough connection, maybe enough sex. It could be for some of you. Okay. This person feels very like pent up about you. Okay. And I feel like they can't like flush it out of their system is what it is. So this is somebody who's like suddenly, okay. Suddenly, surprisingly popping up like, Hey, what's up here? Here it is. Here's the message. Here's the pop up. Okay. This person is here. They're coming in like, yeah, they're taking the chance. They're taking the risk. They're going to say something. Okay. It's like, Hey, can we talk? Can we get back together? Can we do A, B, C, and D, whatever the case This is someone who's very much attracted to you in a physical sense in the first place. So that could be what's going on here. So let's see what this is. Yeah, there it is. It's like, all right, 
I'm finally going to say something. I'm going to break the silence with Sagittarius. I'm going to choose to do so because someone else is not or because it's not working out that way here. So yeah, there's a pop up between you and this person that is coming in that's breaking the silence. Yeah, surprisingly so. I feel like this is like surprising. It's like, where'd this come from? Where'd this person come from? Where'd this message come from? Where'd this phone call come from? This person just pops up, basically. Okay, what's this? Yeah, the Six of Cups is here. I feel like, yeah, so this is something that I feel like this has happened before or this person has just dipped out before or this is you. Like things have kind of been on and off or this person pops up just to leave or or this is you. You guys have some sort of fascination with one another. I feel like this person does primarily. Yeah, so you kind of look at this person like you may not feel it really goes like in the desired way with this individual. It's almost like, you know, um, things drag out or things always play out the same way. This person is always doing certain things or it's almost like why? You're, so you could be thinking like why? It's not going to happen. It's not going to go anywhere. Why does this person keep showing up, popping up? Or why does this person keep persisting? Like, it kind of feels like that. <laughs> okay. Let's get, get some advice, guidance for this person. The person thinking of Sagittarius. Let's get some advice, guidance for this individual. Oh, Empress. The Page of Walls, Two of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. Wow. <laughs> you might be someone who, maybe it's momentarily, okay, but you could be someone who you kind of get real interested in something and then you don't come in with a follow through or you really want to talk to somebody and then as soon as you do you quickly lose interest here okay there could be something like that going on as a pattern here this is basically saying to move forward with being honest okay speaking the truth about things or sharing yourself with people um Interesting. I feel like you could be hot and cold with some uh, a person. Maybe it's Sagittarius for some of you, but it's almost like it's a cycle. There needs to be some type of realization about this with the high priestess. There's something also about uh, self-worth, self-value here. Okay, it's almost like you know that something's going to blow hot and cold or it's going to keep happening the way it did until something else changes and that needs to be looked at is what it is because it looks like the, another cycle popping up for you. Maybe somebody's juggling, by the way. By the way. So advice, guidance for Sagittarius regarding the situation or otherwise. What do you want Sagittarius to know? Spirit? Nine of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Oh my. I'm getting the word immature. Someone is immature. Yeah, okay, so the Ten of Wands is here with you. And again, the Empress. Oh, man. Sag, 
there could be someone in your environment that's causing you a bit of turbulence here. It could be the person from the reading, okay? But I do feel like you need to take a look at how you're compromising yourself or how you're allowing certain energies to be in your life when you know you don't want them in your life in the first place or like how can you get things to kind of stop in that way like take into account how you need to spend your energy and your time here because I feel like you got a lot of people around you that are kind of raining on your parade or like making you feel some type of way that's not in your best interest okay I feel like you got this all around you. It's like compromising you and yourself quite a bit here. It's almost like you you're going to be moving into this energy where you're kind of like, why am I why 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 am I uh, entertaining this? Why do I stick in a situation that's not giving me any type of result? Okay, or you need to with the Empress here. Empress can talk about value. It can talk about the things that you value here as well. And the changes that you need to make to keep those things intact or to welcome them in in the first place. I'm going to leave it right there. Feel free to check previous future reads, Sagittarius, your other placements, friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, peep and Tom, peep and Tom, and other streets of placements too, so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.